5 tips for keeping a planet aquarium These tips will be very useful if you need help keeping your plants alive or maybe you just want some more info. Either way, you're here and let's get started. So the first tip is to make sure that your fish are not plant eaters. A lot of fish such as goldfish or cichlids will eat a lot of your live plants so you need to be aware of that. Definitely know what type of plants you can keep with your fish. This is very important because a lot of people don't care about what plants they're keeping and what ends up happening is that your fish eat all your plants. Some fish that eat plants include goldfish, cichlids, buenos aires tetras, common plecos, and a whole bunch more. Shrimp will sometimes eat a little bit of plants but not a lot. So the first tip is to make sure your fish won't eat plants. My second tip is to not keep the lighting too high. Now, this really depends on the type of plants you're keeping and the type of light you have, but most plants are very prone to getting algae on them, so I recommend to not keep your lighting too high. If you can't control the lighting, then try to turn the light on for lesser hours a day. Normally, you shouldn't be keeping your lights over 10 hours, and if you have high lighting and you can't control the light, then try to keep it on for 7 or 8 hours. You can use a light timer to set the time on when you want to open and close the lights but if you don't have one of these timers then you can close the light on and off by yourself my tank lights are kept on for about nine hours a day which i think is the perfect timing the third tip is to keep a cleanup crew a cleanup crew refers to the aquatic creatures that are used for keeping an aquarium free from algae. Now it could be anything as long as it eats algae. Snails, shrimp, and algae eating fish are examples of cleanup crew. Keeping a cleanup crew is very important as they eat leftover algae and will keep the tank a lot more cleaner. Keeping a small cleanup crew is what every aquascape has. In my 20 gallon planted tank, I keep ramshorn snails and one amano shrimp. They do a really good job at eating algae and keeping the tank cleaner. You can also keep a small school of autosynclus and they will eat all the algae in your tank. I made a video on the best algae eating fish to keep. The link is above. Keeping a cleanup crew will be very beneficial, so the third tip is to keep a cleanup crew. The fourth tip is to keep floating plants in your tank. Floating plants will do a really good job taking out excess waste and will be a really good addition for your planet tank. There are tens if not hundreds of types of floating plants. It could be really difficult to choose, so I made a video on the best floating plants to keep. The link is above. Anyway, floating plants can also help block out light if your light is too strong. A lot of people, including me, like floating plants because they provide a decent amount of shade. And I found floating plants to be very useful and natural. So the fourth tip is to keep floating plants in your tank. My final tip is to use liquid fertilizer. Now there are many different types of liquid fertilizers, but they all serve the same purpose, which is to give plants nutrients through the water column. I use Flourish Comprehensive, but there's also Tropica and some other ones. Now the reason I like liquid fertilizers is because it just gives the plants a new source of getting nutrients and it most likely will make your plants grow a lot better. Usually if you buy a comprehensive liquid fertilizer, it requires you to doze in the tank every week but it really depends on the type of fertilizer and your tank size. And so the last tip is to dose liquid fertilizers. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking the button below this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.